Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're in downtown Perry, Georgia. Um, there's one place I was going to go to today that's closed. Um, closed at 1 p.m., sadly. But um, looks like I'm going to come back for later this week. Go see what it is later on. But we can still look at some stuff and check it out while we're here. So I'll show you the map and uh, where we are. Right, here it is, Perry, Georgia, where Georgia comes together. Yeah, this is all the stuff they got. Looks like some parks down there. Big Indian Creek. Yeah, the cemetery. Yeah. The village shops. Let's see what's up here. City Halls, Perry Area Historical Museum. Ah, there I am. So basically, right in the middle, that's where I am. And right behind me is the House of County Extension Office. And we'll see that in a second. And the other one is another, oh, that's what it is. We'll see that one next, I think after what's behind me. But it's the new Perry Hotel. Supposedly it's a National Historic Site. So we'll see about it. Yeah. It's a nice little town. So this street is actually called Carroll Street and this one's called Ball Street. So Carroll Street has like all the little shops. Looks like there's like a little bookstore down there. They probably have a couple restaurants, local stuff. State Farm. And there's one place coming soon it's called Orleans on Carroll Street. It's kind of cool. It has like a New Orleans vibe to it. it. has that second story. I like it. But on my left is a like judicial building, I guess, you know, the courthouse. It's pretty cool. And right beside it, it's kind of like a little monument to the Confederates. 1861 to 1865. May this shaft ever be called memory. The story of the glory of the men who wore the gray. It's pretty neat right there. And I think something's beside it as well. And this says, House and County Chapter. UDC. Uh, AD 1902, maybe? Let's see what else it says on it that I could find. There's a Confederate flag. Yeah, that's a pretty detailed little statue. There's another one, y'all can read that. Pause the video if you want to. Comrades to our Confederate dead. It's nice that they do this. Let's see if I can do that. Yeah, here we go. Right there, it says CSA. It's a nice little building right here. And there's one more little plaque I want to see. And all along the little downtown, you have self guided tours. You just call this number or you stop and scan this little barcode. And I'll tell you about it. That's pretty neat. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Yeah. Morris Bank. Nice little downtown. And here's something cool. Food Truck Friday. Free to the public. 6 to 10. Featuring free music and more than 20 food and beverage vendors. Then they have special nights where they do stuff. That's pretty fun. So I guess all out here, they have food trucks and stuff. Yeah, I'll have to check that out. So I'm guessing also this, this is Orleans on Carroll Street. It's gonna be like a restaurant because it says up here, US Foods. But yeah, looks pretty cool. And right beside it down here is a Schultz's Old Fashioned Soda Shop. And it's closed. Oh, they have like ice cream, floats, uh, milkshakes, burgers. Yeah. And look at that mural on the wall. 
That's really cool. Two bats closed. Close at 1 p.m. Sadly. But, you know what? That's another vlog for another day. Yeah. And also, I guess the guy that was over here, his name's, he was a governor. Governor John Houston. Or was it Houston? I think it's John Houston because we were actually in Houston County. And he was born near Waynesboro. Elected in 1775 to represent Georgia at a continual Congress and served Georgia's Council of Safety. Hmm. How about that? And he was the second time governor in 1784, appointed one of the seven trustees for a college, making him one of the founders of the University of Georgia. Houston served as Savannah's first mayor in 1790 and helped in 1791 host George Washington's Savannah visit. He died in 1796. Wow, so this was named in his honor in 1821. How about that? All right, guys, so we were way down that street. Now it came down. We'll see that place in a second, but this is the Perry Methodist Church, organized in 1826. Huh. And there's another one, 1827. The first one is the Evergreen Cemetery, which I'm probably not going to drive down there. But um, anyways, yeah, here's this church, Methodist Church. For being how old it is, I mean, they probably did some repairs along the years, but it looks pretty good. Yeah, you can see how it goes downhill a little bit down there with the windows. Those are always pretty cool. Right up front of the church, we have a bell. This might have been from the first bell they have. Let's see. Cast in 1866 by the Meanly Bell Foundry. This bell rang at the site to call people to the worship and toll for funerals until it was taken out of service in 1972 due to a crack. And there's the crack. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Ah, history. And there's another one down to talk about Perry United Methodist Church in 1826. Which is not that building, but you get the concept. Yeah. Pretty nice. You can actually see how worn it out it is up there. So before I leave Perry, I do want to get some kind of like treat or snack that is open here. If it is available, but if it's not, it's okay. There's always another day. But um, I was going to check out this restaurant. It looks like it was a house and they transformed to something else. So we're across the street called uh, Swanson Historic Dining on Carroll. Yeah. I can see that. I can kind of smell it too. Hmm. All right, guys, so we're actually on the other end of the build that we were on. That's the judicial building. So right behind me is a new Perry Hotel. Well, <laughs> not really new anymore, but it is the future home of the new Perry Restaurant and Hotel. That's pretty neat. I don't know when I'm going to be done with it, but it looks like they have a lot of uh, restoration. And it supposedly is a National Historic Site. That's what it says. Yep, New Perry Hotel, registered National Historic Site by the U.S. Department of Interior, 2004. Well, they got a sign. Looks like an older sign. New Perry Hotel Restaurant. Yeah. It's pretty neat, actually. Yeah, it's really old. Let's see if we can take a peek inside. Huh. Can't really see, but... Yeah, anyways, it looks pretty cool. Also, before I leave here, I just want to talk about the uh, Swanson um, restaurant. 
what is, what is it called? The uh, Swanson Historical Restaurant and something like that. I forgot what it's called, but um, it wasn't really that busy. I mean, it is a Monday after all, but same time, um, there was a lot of cars there, so maybe it was an air side building. I'll have to try it out someday, maybe. But yeah, I'm gonna definitely come back to Perry, especially for um, that restaurant and the food truck stuff. It sounds pretty good. So as I was leaving, I came across this place, Looking Good Donuts. Looks like a local place. And also, hey, has two to food trucks, Southern Fried and Southern Pride and Smoke Time Signature Barbecue. Bonaire, Bonaire, Georgia. That's this area. I ain't seen one down the strip, but hey, I wouldn't mind some barbecue. But we'll see what kind of donuts they have inside of here. All right, guys. Never mind. They open 6 to 2 every day and Sunday 6 to 12. Oh. What I'll do for donut, they have a glazed donut holes, chocolate cakes, maple bacon, apple fritters, cinnamon twists. Oh man. Never mind. Looks like an old original place. Ah. All right, guys, that's a wrap up from downtown Perry. It wasn't a complete fail, only like one and a half. So the donut shop was closed on two o'clock and the uh, soda shop place was closed for some reason at one o'clock. We usually open eight o'clock at night. But anyways, I'll be back there and for the food truck. So definitely gonna have a part two of Perry downtown. So if you enjoyed this one, make sure you get a big thumbs up and also subscribe to for more future content. I'll see you guys in the next one.